Did you hear that a lawsuit between George Miller and Warner Bros. threatens the Mad Max franchise? How long has it been? That Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom has released a brand new trailer? You think what I'm thinking? What about the Harley Quinn movie finding its director? No? We've got you covered. Welcome to The Cinephiles, a weekly show where we zoom in on the most buzzworthy news Hollywood and the indie scene has to offer. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to Mojo Talks for The Cinephiles Extended Cut, a weekly discussion show where we break down the week's biggest stories. Link in the description below. Number 3. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom releases new trailer. Are you okay? I'm okay. Fallen Kingdom dropped their final trailer earlier this week, and while the two and a half minute teaser showcased some pulse pounding scenes, the gist of the story may seem a little familiar. A rescue op? What could go wrong? The trailer starts with Chris Pratt's Owen fighting for his life when he's nearly bitten in half by a Tyrannosaurus Rex, who just awoke from a slumber. From there, the story starts to take shape, and the sequel shows some similarity to the 1997 installment, The Lost World Jurassic Park. Mommy's very angry. In a scene with Bryce Dallas Howard's Claire, a mysterious man by the name of Eli claims to want to go back to the island of Jurassic World and save 11 species of dinosaurs. But of course, his good intentions turn out to be bad, instead capturing the dinosaurs on the island for monetary and personal gain. They're gonna sell them. Not blue. They need it for something else. While story aspects do seem familiar, shots of various dinosaurs and a new breed do show some promise from the film set to hit theaters June 22nd. Welcome to Jurassic World. Number 2. Kathy Yenon talks to direct Harley Quinn movie. What? The movie doesn't have a title yet, but that hasn't stopped DC from finding their director for the untitled DC film, starring Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn. Hi boys! Reports are circulating that director Kathy Yan will be leading the spin-off film, and if the reports end up being true, would mark the first time that an Asian woman directs a big-budget superhero film. Yan has one feature film to her name as a director, the critically acclaimed indie darling Dead Pigs, which won a World Cinema Award at the Sundance Film Festival this year. What? According to sources, Robbie urged Warner Brothers and DC executives to hire a female director for a more authentic vision. I'm known to be quite vexing, I'm just forewarning you. This would not be out of the ordinary for DC, as Patty Jenkins was hired to direct 2017's critically acclaimed Wonder Woman. The script, which is rumored to be based on the Birds of Prey comics, was penned by Christina Hodson. We're bad guys, it's what we do. Before we get to our final entry, here are a couple new releases. You hit your head pretty hard. Wait, that's me, that's me. Oh my God, do you see this? Yes. I'm beautiful! They've been waiting for a second chance. Waiting for their country to need them again. That time is meow. What do you guys give me if I kill that bird? Farber, that's a bald eagle. Get a wig, baldy! Yeah! Guys, what do I win? Number one, Mad Max sequels threatened over Warner Brothers' lawsuit. Looks like Mad Max's Fury Road has reached a dead end. Riding to the According to the Sydney Morning Herald, the future of George Miller's Mad Max franchise is in deep trouble as the filmmaker is locked in a major court battle with Warner Brothers. Miller's company, Kennedy Miller Mitchell, is suing Warner Brothers for breach of contract, stipulating in a document filed in the Supreme Court of New South Wales that the studio behaved in a quote, high-handed, insulting, or reprehensible manner. According to the Sydney Morning Herald, Warner Brothers had a contractual obligation to pay a bonus for wrapping the film under budget, but didn't. Miller claims Fury Road cost $154.6 million, Warner Bros claims it was $185.1 million. The ongoing battle obviously leads to complications for future sequels. Miller has scripts ready for Mad Max 5 and 6, and when asked if fans would ever get to see them, said, They're there, but that's all I can say. That's in the future. I live, I die! I never get! Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our Mojo Talks YouTube channel for the full episode of The Cinephiles Extended Cut. Link in the description below.